Bet you have lots of weird dreams, right, Captain? All the things you've seen. William? What? I feel like you've been avoiding me. What's wrong? Talk to me. Look at me, Anya. I'm the damn tin man. How am I gonna get close to you? I don't care. I'll figure something out. We always do. try because I'm fucking dying the longer we keep pretending it won't happen the harder it's gonna be I'll be in the ground a week from now you don't know that what you can see the future now don't act like you know things you can't possibly know well the toilet works Are you still here? You need to haul ass back to mission control and get all your ducks in a row. Mm. Now, the Haas 2 helicopter is spinning up in the hangar, and it'll get you as far as Galveston, but from there, baby, you're gonna have to improvise. Dynamite, boss. Blazkowicz, head on up to the hangar and make sure that Haas 1 is mission ready, all right? Hello there. 
was a cutoff. I've been entombed. We're safe, Barbara. That's what matters. Don't you worry. It reminds me of when the bomb fell. Being deep in the ground. Right. Let's see if this bird is ready to fly like Grace asked me to. Put everything else out of your mind. Looks like I need more diesel. Mona. Baldo here about in New York. Very bad place. Fat and sassy. Should let Grace know. For the Blasco. Helicopter's good to go. Thanks, man. I think it's time we had a gathering. Enter and pass up through the gates to attain to the 32 paths of wisdom. I, but in reference to what? Hey, little star man. Are you ticklish, buddy? Max! Jesus, Max! I didn't see you there. Look, Max, I'm doing some, like, really heavy reading here, and your little toy robot is just not compatible with that type of soul journey, man, okay? Max, hot. Max, it's all right, pal. Look, this just is way too complicated for you. Why don't you go play with your pig or something? See, I'm trying to find the reference to these gates here, and... Ugh, you just would not understand. Max, hot. Max, this is really advanced philosophical <laughs> literature here, okay? You can't just start pointing to... <laughs> Max, that's it! How did you... Need you in the helm, Wyatt. All right, y'all. We got some hell to raise. You got a boat full of noobs, and I got a target. Fucking good one, too. Woo! Right on, boss! Yeah, that's where it's at. That's cool, all right. I dig. Check it out. I sent Specia ahead to his hometown of Roswell, New Mexico, to prep for the mission. Now, there's a tunnel that's accessible through Specia's hideout that will take you straight into the Nazis' top secret underground base, where they're experimenting with some sort of wigged out alien technology. Roswell, New Mexico, you said? This is one of ours. What do you mean? One of yours? Yeah, wouldn't you like to know? So you can send coded messages back to your pals in Berlin? No! What the fuck is she even doing here? Grace, why? She's good people. She's a fucking Nazi. On your boat. What were you saying, Pops? Hmm? Hmm. That secret base you were talking about was constructed by us. Das Jürgen. One of our biggest safe keeps. It was located here, underground, near what is now Roswell, New Mexico, but it, I mean, it existed for a thousand years, long before America got subjugated by the Europeans. It contained technology related to anti-gravity research, something that could easily turn the tide of war. We gave the U.S. government access to it. Unfortunately, it was too late. America fell. The Nazis took hold for a safekeeping. Shit. 
That's not gonna sit well with Speci. He had his bet on space aliens. He once saw a ship that crashed back there in 47. So what do you want with this place? You know what the Overcommando is? Yeah, baby. That's where all those big shot jerks running the Nazi war machine hang out. Yeah, well, the Nazis moved it into your safe keep set. So whatever it is is so important that the whole upper echelon of the Nazi leadership left Berlin and set up shop in New Mexico. This is why you need this for. What on earth is that? This is a portable nuclear bomb. We're gonna take out the Oberkommando, cripple the Nazi leadership, and destabilize the fucking country and let the people know that the fight is back on. Blazkowicz, load up. I'm sending you to Roswell with this. Roswell is out of helicopter range, so we'll drop you off by the coast near Galveston. From there, you will catch a ride to Roswell. Rendezvous with Super Special at Papa Joe's All-American Diner and plant the nuke inside the very heart of the Ober Commando. Then, you blow that shit the fuck up. Okay, Blaskowitz, look for Papa Joe's All-American Diner. Meet Super Special inside the restaurant. Do not break cover. So, Americans, are you going to the concert tonight? Oh, Jeb here is. He's a, a big fan of DK for ain't you, Jeb? Well, the music makes me happy. What's wrong with that, Wayne? Nothing wrong with that, Jeb. I like your style, Americans. Very good. You're part of the Reich now. Subject of the Great Führer. I hope for your sake you consider the Reich and all its glorious people your own. Yes, of course, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. sure. Let me give you some free advice. You are witnessing a new dawn for America. You have a choice in this new world, because the time will come when, how do you say, the wheat detaches from the chaff. Have you taken your German lesson? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. You, how do you say thank you in German? Oh, of course, sir. Let me see. It's, um... Yes. Dank, dank. Yes, out with it. Dank, dank. <laughs> My God. <laughs> was that all right? No, that was terrible. You're butchering my beautiful language. It's Danke schön, verdammt. Say it. Uh, Danke schön? Incorrect. Danke schön. Danke schön? I've heard enough. No more. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm still practicing. You will practice hard. Oh, I will, sir. And I am so sorry. I got today's news for you right here, mister. Only one Reichsmark. Say, mister, you look familiar to me. Are you some kind of celebrity? Look at you, people. Celebrating your own destruction. Just listen to that lovely marching beat. I'm so happy the Germans brought some culture to this country. Kavadad Neidner? Did I pronounce that right? You really must correct me if I didn't. Biggest in history. Read all about it. Papa Joe's All-American Diner. My kind of dive. Was hast du heute gelernt, Peter? I don't know. Stuff? Practice your German, dear. Oh. We'll need Hello it. Hello there, sir. Please. Was have a seat at the counter. Be right with you. Ma'am, what'll it be? Chili. We're about to close, oh, unfortunately. It's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blazkowicz. Speci knows you're coming to attack the Oberkommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn atom bomb. You gotta break him the news. Hello? 
Come on, Peter, let's go someplace else. But, Mom, we no don't have any butts. Oh. Bitte schön. Danke. Well, good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. And strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Aryan face it is, too. Are you out of Station One? There you go, Commandant. Oh, vielen Dank. Hmm. <laughs> now you. Show me your identification papers. Please. Oh. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. It's just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more Jap Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of Station 6. What is the location of Station 6? I'm uh, <laughs> unfamiliar with this station. Speak up. Hat das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Kommandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. Hm. Not that I don't trust you, Blaskwitz, but there's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blaskwitz to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I mean the password that Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special. Lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come, follow me. So, um, welcome to Mission Control. That's, I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, good stuff. This shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind reading devices. How's Grace? Good. My baby Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part. You know? I mean, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Special? This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. <coughs> Cookie? Oh. It's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire Peru. Gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses, because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Ah! Pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place is where we kept the records and started surveilling what the military is up to. Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but it was clearly 
extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by Bottomless Lakes, Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer, and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. What? Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest. Nevada, New Mexico, it's one gigantic complex, and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward-ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs, our new masters took over all these bases, and they kept doing their own experiments to, to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's the, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, it's a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird-ass technology. Alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, whatever it is, it, 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 it ain't Martian. Okay, all right, all right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien-based. It ain't space aliens. I talk. How the about fuck do you know? Are you, are you are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. So I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 Cargo Train Loading Depot. All right. Now, you should put that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free from shooting. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey, stay frosty, Blaskowitz. Keep going down that tunnel, and you'll end up at the Area 52 cargo train loading depot. Fastest way to Area 52 will be to hitch a ride on one of those cargo trains.
Verständnis für Terroristen. Wie können Sie Gewalt gegen uns gutheißen, nur weil wir anderer Ansicht sind? Die sind halt gewalttätig, Karl. Denen fehlt die moralische Richtschnur. Wir sind doch auch Menschen. Gewalt nur sie noch Menschen. Das stimmt. Gewalt ist niemals in Ordnung. Niemals. Was für eine Gesellschaft wäre das, wenn ich jeden töten würde, der meine Ansicht nicht teilt? Ein Kriegsgebiet, Karl. Das wäre ein Kriegsgebiet. Zum Kotzen. Übrigens hast du dich für New Orleans beworben. Na klar. Und du? Auf jeden Fall. Vielleicht sind wir in einer Todesschwadron. Hoffentlich. Wir arbeiten doch gut zusammen, oder? Ja.
Nazi nerve center. The Oberkommando is situated at ground level directly above the cavernous vault with all that alien shit inside. You gotta haul your ass on up there, baby.
So, you want the Nazis to leave the warhead alone once you planted it, right? Well, what you gotta do is place it in the Oberkommando's nuclear reactor. That way, the Nazis won't be able to track its radiation signature. They won't find it, they won't disarm it. on the tornado alarm, we'll evacuate the whole town. Now look for an exit and get the hell out of the blast zone. I'm almost done clearing out mission control. Meet you at the rendezvous by Galveston. Done deal.
says I'm not supposed to play with you. Why he say that? My daddy say that Negroes are a sickness on the community and a bad influence, dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out, and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colors of slaves, and now they're not allowed no more. And that's why I can't use a good restroom at the fair, and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. Well, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine Scout. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. What you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Ooh. Follow me and I'll show you. Uh, okay. Come on. Ah. Ah. You showed me the ring, Mama. For when I met someone special. Well, I did. And then a look right on her finger. Come on, look at this, Billy. Look, the rat fell into my bucket. Now he can't get out. Look at that. He's <laughs> drowned. Probably. Well, save him, Billy. He's drowning. It's just a rat. He's gross. He's eating our food and spreading germs, pooping in our cupboards. Well, he's dying. He's dying, Billy. And it is paved with hard work. You will be old before you reach Rod's end. Just remember, my boy. It will end better than it began. secret okay promise not to tell anyone yeah okay 
a whisper. there somewhere, Billy, inclined to this day to endure amongst the living. Mama! Daddy! What's the goddamn ruckus? <laughs> and in Howie, they followed me. They, they pinned me down. They took me. What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property, they're gonna walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to their parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you gonna let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. I'll be in the grave rotting away, and still a better daddy than you. Nice. Should get to work. Gone upgrading my weapons. I have tried reasoning with you. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. I'm coming to kill Mama. All right, here's what we're gonna do. You take this. Wow. Well, you and I are going down into the basement and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun?
Place has gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nary a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Forney Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. Nothing in this house but bad memories. So why'd you come? You need a place to hide? You need money? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I matter. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is, you were broke beyond fixing. What, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall, coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts. Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age. Broke your mother's heart. Where is she? gone. When? What happened? What happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing. 